Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. As you can see here, we received a brand new CNC system into the shop. It's a ShopBot Desktop Max. Now this has a cutting capacity of 36 inches by 24 inches and comes with a one horsepower HSD spindle with an ER20 collet. Now ShopBot offers three different tabletop options, but we went with the most popular, the aluminum T-Track and the MDF spoil board. Now in this video we want to show you how the unit came in, unpacking it, setting it up, running the tuning and squaring and, and uh, just the programs to get the unit set up. And then we'll run a couple programs, the, the first couple cuts on the unit. One is the perimeter of the spoil board to show you your cutting area. And then the second is to uh, surface the spoil board so it's nice and flat and coat planar to the axes of the machines. Now this is not meant to be a step-by-step -step, as ShopBot does an excellent job in their literature and links on their website. Uh, so if you're interested in a unit, you're gonna follow those instructions. You're not gonna follow this video. Let's go ahead and get started and I hope you guys enjoy. The unit came in a well-built crate with some wire spring type clamps on the top to keep the lid on. I used a pry bar to break them free. When we slide the lid off, you can clearly see the custom packing to keep the CNC nice and protected during shipping. I use a small cart to collect all the literature, small parts, and dust collection hose that is included. I love using these type of carts to keep project specific items on there. To get an easier access to the CNC, I take the sides off. This allows Matt and I to grab the dedicated lifting points and place it on our Rockler customizable shop stand. This specific stand is 3 feet by 4 feet, a perfect size for this desktop max unit. ShopBot does an excellent job with their literature to walk you through setting up your machine. Their manual includes pictures, text, and labels to indicate what you need to do and when. It allows you to go step by step in unboxing your machine to making your first cuts. It starts with inserting the ShopBot flash drive and installing the control program and other factory cutting operations. Once you install the ShopBot controller software, you're able to control the machine and move it around. Following the instructions step by step, it is now time to install the included quarter inch end mill. The ER20 collet makes it very easy to install and the wrenches ShopBot includes are very high quality and make a tight connection with the collet nut. In order to use the included zero wing touch plate, we need to connect it to the unit. Next we need to take the clip and connect it to the bit, the spindle collet, or the shaft. Then we take the aluminum touch plate and touch it to the bit. Looking at the computer, it will register and light up one of the registration lights showing you have a proper connection. At this time, you can go ahead and click the zeroing button in the control panel and the CNC will automatically go down. The first time it will be quicker and the second time it will be slower to get more accurate results. Once it touches the touch plate, it will stop. Next, we run the squaring program where it jams the x-axis hard against the stops to square the machine up to the frame. With the desktop max squared up, we can run the homing or tuning, which it runs into the hard limit switches and knows exactly where the zero zero for the x and y axes are. We power on the spindle and set it to 100 on the VFD or variable frequency drive. We need to run the spindle warm up program in the software before we can make our first cuts. Once the spindle is warmed up after 10 minutes of running, we can increase the speed and get ready for our first cuts. I slap on the dust boot to help control the dust. The first program is a perimeter program which shows you the maximum cutting area of the ShopBot Max. With the cutting area rabbit completed, we then can run the surfacing program that's inside the ShopBot software. If you don't want to use that program, you can always run a pocketing toolpath in your CAD CAM program. This basically surfaces off the entire uh, surface of the board, making it nice and coplanar to the axes of the machine. With the spoil board surface, we're now ready for our first project. I hope this video showed how easy it is to bring a desktop Max by ShopBot into the workshop and go from unboxing to your first cut in a very, very little amount of time. Now I have a lot of CNC experience, but I was very impressed with uh, ShopBot's approach and their literature to get a user, whether they're brand new to CNC or someone like myself that has some experience to learning their machines, learning their software. It's just a very methodical and thought out approach and I really appreciate that and I know you guys will too. As you can see, this machine's been used quite heavily. We've done a couple American flag projects as well as a couple other template operations uh, for other projects here in the workshop. 
Uh, there's going to be some more CNC content in the future of this channel. If you have any recommended projects or topics or questions uh, or things just uh, related to CNC, please leave them below in the comments. We'd love to provide some feedback and some answers. We strongly encourage you to follow us on social media as we do updates along the way as uh, we receive the unit um, as well as the CNC projects going forward. Let us know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. We'd love to provide some feedback and answer any questions you have. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.